Various incubating systems are facilitating youth startups. We meet with young people pioneering new paths through entrepreneurship. Join us as we trace the footsteps of reporter Jurgen Hintzpeter and remember the meaning of the May 18th Democratic Uprising. Korean society is rapidly aging as birth rates are at record lows. Korean attitudes are changing. We hear from young people who say marriage is a choice, not a must. We get on site at the 2016 Youth Humanities Nunjangpan, in which Korean and foreign students rediscover Korea's traditional culture together. Faced with what seems like a wall against employment, young people are building new paths through startups. From financial support to the provision of workspace, varied and systematic incubating systems are giving wings to youth startups. Startups are a hot trend in universities lately. Unreal Park, a startup club at Tungguk University, developed a game using augmented reality. Augmented reality is a technology which superimposes 3D virtual objects onto the real world, and it's considered a next-gen growth engine. This game, in which users create virtual characters and face off against other people, will soon be launched to the market. Unreal Park has been recognized for its potential, even receiving nearly $20,000 from a startup fostering organization. 저희가 졸업 작품으로 시작을 해서 자 한번 뭐가 됐든지 간에 게임을 런칭을 한번 해보자라는 게 처음 목표였어요. 학교에서 그 일반인 실전 창업 강좌를 이제 처음에 작년 6월에 듣고 이제 거기서 알게 된 인프라가 지금까지도 계속 유지가 되고 있거든요. 저희가 앞으로 가야 할 방향을 계속 제시해주고 저희가 잘못됐다고 생각하는 거는 다시 바로 잡아주고 그런 그런 역할을 계속 해주기 때문에 정말 많은 도움이 됐다고 생각합니다. Step In, another startup club at Dungguk University, has gained attention with a special kind of spoon. The spoon prevents hand tremors and is designed for people who find it difficult to eat alone either due to old age or physical impairment. Step In has completed its application for a patent and will soon launch its products for consumers. 학교나 이런 지자체에 도움이 없었다면 이런 비전을 이룰 수 없겠다라는 생각도 많이 하고 있거든요. 그래서 저희는 이런 앞으로 이런 큰 도움을 많이 받아서 저희가 만들고 싶은 그런 꿈과 비전에 좀한 발짝 다가설 수 있는 팀이 되도록 하겠습니다. Tungguk University actively supports student startups. Startup clubs receive assistance in the form of financial aid and workspace, and the school operates a team of mentors to offer advice in various fields. With this kind of support, 85% of the startup clubs at Tungguk University actually go on to start businesses, recording yearly sales of over $600,000. 이러한 교육을 받은 아이들은 이 우리 사회에서 필요로 하는 인재가 되기 때문입니다. 어, 즉 어, 직업 중에 또 하나의 직업이 어, 내가 직접 창업을 해보는 겁니다. 어, 그래서 이러한 일들을 저희 대학은 굉장히 어, 어, 원하는 친구들에게, 원하는 학생들에게는 굉장히 많은 길을 the Ministry of Education announced the 2016 Startup Education Promotion Plan to help college students successfully start their companies. The number of companies newly created by entrepreneurs in their 30s or younger is rising each year. As they don't rely on employment by corporations, startups are emerging as a new solution to youth unemployment. What's more, youth startups create new growth engines and add new energy to the economy. As such, their importance can't be understated. 청년 세대들이 스스로 자기 고용을 할수 있고 또 어떤 새로운 어떤 가치 창출에 도전함으로써 사회 전반이 역동적이고 어떤 창의적인 도전의 문화가 형성되는 그런 측면에서 국가적인 측면에서는 매우 중요한 내용이라고 다를 말씀드릴 수 있을 것 같습니다. The government is implementing various support measures to remove obstacles to youth startups and foster promising and talented young entrepreneurs. Dedicated youth startup funds are used for startup capital and to provide educational consulting. Youth startup internships help future CEOs prepare by offering opportunities to work at top venture corporations. The Youth Startup Academy is also operated as a cradle of youth startups. 
The Academy offers comprehensive support encompassing funds, education, coaching, and workspace. It's everything a youth startup needs. College student Choi ji made her way to the Academy to achieve her dream of owning her own business. She's currently developing an ad-based scholarship app aimed at users who are attending college. 생각보다 제가 할수 없던 부분에 대해서 이제 도움도 많이 받게 되고 이제 많은 조언들도 해주시면서 할수 있다는 자신감도 생겼어요. 그래서 아 진짜 취업했으면 후회했겠다라는 생각을 하기도 할 정도인데요. 꼭 성공해서 부모님한테 보답을 드리고 싶습니다. Kim il is developing a smart carrier that incorporates fingerprint recognition and GPS technologies. For Kim, the Youth Startup Academy is acting as a reliable starting point. 처음에 이렇게 사업을 시작하면서 이런 네트워크를 얻고 또 누리기가 굉장히 또 이거 큰 영광이거든요. 그런 의미에서 봤을 때는 저에게는 가장 좋은 기회고 또 영광이고 축복입니다. In the last five years, 1,200 students of the Youth Startup Academy have launched their businesses, leading to well over $320 million in sales and 5,000 new jobs. 사업사관학교 내 복합권을 설립해서 기숙사 또한 그 제품 설계실, 디자인실 또한 금융실 모든 것을 한 곳에서 처리할 수 있는 그런 복합관을 지어서 어, 이렇게 원스톱으로 지원할 수 있는 것을 계획하고 있습니다. However, the fear of failure remains a major stumbling block hindering the expansion of youth startups. 또 교육 현장에서 어떤 살아있는 현장에 대한 실제적인 이해를 가질 수 있는 어, 혁신들이 따라줌으로써 우리 청년들이 어떤 그 창업에 대한 어, 두려움 또 창업 실패에 대한 어떤 어, 두려움 이런 전반적인 것들을 이렇게 완화해서 여러 가지 어떤 혁신적인 활동에 도전할 수 있는 환경과 분위기를 만들 수 있지 않겠는가 그렇게 보여집니다. Young people are starting their own businesses armed with original ideas and passionate energy. We hope that through various startup incubating systems, youth startups will be able to soar even higher. May 1980, in Gwangju, the day of the democracy uprising, there was one person who held onto his camera even in grave danger. His name was Rügen Hinchpetter, a reporter for German television. A special memorial ceremony was held for the journalist who gave his all to tell the truth 36 years ago. Rügen Hinchpeter passed away in January this year. His memorial ceremony was held recently with his loved ones, foreign journalists and many members of the public participating. He called me every time in his life. He wanted to stay with you on this emotional place after he would die. And I thank you so much that you could make it true. The May 18th Memorial Foundation raised a plaque to the memory of Rügen Hinchpetter and buried part of his articles according to his wishes to be buried in Gwangju. Now I'm very, very sad, but I'm happy that uh, I can be here and uh, it is for me very necessary to yeah. be here. May 18th, 1980, the citizens of Gwangju staged an uprising in opposition to the military dictatorship. Although Rügen Hinchpetter was a correspondent in Japan, he rushed to Korea as soon as he heard news of Gwangju on the radio. Even in the most dire situations, he did not let go of his camera. His footage he took aired all across Europe and then made it onto worldwide media. It showed the world clearly the passion of the people of Gwangju for democracy.
An exhibition of the footage taken by Rugen Hinchpetzer together with his collection of related resources was held. Majority of existing footage of the May 18 Kwangju uprising was taken by Rugen Hinchpetzer. Foreign journalists who were at the scene of the democracy uprising also visited Gwangju for the first time in 36 years. In those days, there were no cell phones. Handphone and Opsun and Deo. These telephone lines to Gwangju had been cut. And so we had to go to surrounding towns such as Jiangsung or Naju. And we used the telephone there from in the post office. In 2011, Kunlanlo was designated as a UNESCO Road of Democracy and Human Rights. Walking along Kumnamlo, the stage of the uprising, they say the Kwangju of 1980 is still fresh in their minds. They were really brave, and at least a few of them knew that they were going to die. But they struggled on, and you were very fortunate to have such a great, brave history behind you. Definitely, we should not forget. Uh, that this, this was an important event, and it contributed to the development of Korean democracy. Reporters pursuing the same story see each other, and so of course we saw each other. Uh, and it's, it's, uh, it's too bad that he has died. It's, it's very nice that Kwangju can remember him. Everything recorded on my film is unavoidable truth. May 2016, where the spirits who gave their lives to democracy lay to rest. We created a resting place in honor of Ryugen Hinchpetter and the truce he told the world. Korean society is facing plunging birth rates and severe aging. Korean attitudes towards marriage are changing. How is the way we look at marriage evolving, and what are the causes? A marathon for siblings was held in Seoul Plaza on May 14th. Due to the low birth rate, two or more children are considered more than the average. All races were designed to have siblings help each other to complete the course, so as to highlight the importance of having siblings. Participating citizens were also able to experience the joy that children can bring. The low fertility rate has long been recognized as a major social problem. The total fertility rate is considered low when it dips below 2.1, and when it is below 1.3, it is referred to as hyper-low. On top of the hyper-low fertility rate, the number of marriages also hit a record low last year. 
The average age of first marriage for females also rose above 30 for the first time. 부모가 아이를 낳지 않는 무자녀 가족도 있고요. 또 독신으로 사는 가족도 있고 또 우리 요즘 사회에서는 1인 가구가 굉장히 많이 증가를 하고 있습니다. 이런 식으로 사회 변화에 따라서 가족 구조와 유형이 굉장히 다양화되는 것을 볼수 있습니다. 결혼을 일찍 하면 은 자기 발전이나 또 자기 삶의 선호 이런 것이 굉장히 약화될 것을 걱정해가지고 결혼을 필수사항이 아닌 선택사항으로 인식하는 이런 정도까지 와 있습니다. On one website, a single by choice declaration drew significant attention. The post garnered hundreds of positive comments in a single day. There are even companies that offer wedding photo shoots for single people. The phenomenon shows up in the statistics as well. A big data analysis company looked up mentions of the term single by choice on social media and discovered a jump of 704% in the past five years. 사회적, 그 다음에 문화적, 경제적 이런 측면에 오히려 그 굉장히 그 방점을 둬요. 가족의 구성, 그로 인한 세대 전승 이런 것보다는 결혼 자체를 삶의 전체의 모습으로 그려내는 이런 그 것으로 변화했기 때문에. What do young people think about marriage? I think marriage is outdated because it's. I think monogamy is a an arbitrary social institution that can potentially hold things back by imposing limits on things that. We could break free from. 꼭 해야 되는 그런 거는 아니라 의무는 아니라고 생각해요. 저희 애들을 보고도 지금 뭐 필수라고 얘기 안 하거든요. 자기 할 일이 많으면 또 결혼보다 더 중요한 게 있을 수 있잖아요. 자기 인생에서. 아무래도 요즘 젊은 친구들은 결혼에 대해서 이렇게 긍정적으로 생각하지 않더라고요. Most young people cited money and financial problems in their choice not to get married. The word most associated with marriage was hardship at 33%. Only 4.1% thought of happiness. 우선 취업을 못 한다면 당연히 청년 빈곤율이 굉장히 심각해지겠죠. 그 청년들이 가난하다 보니까 경제적 어려움을 겪다 보니까 결혼을 엄두에도 못 내고 결혼을 과거처럼 단순한 어떤 조건으로 생각하면 좋은데 지금은 아주 여러 가지 측면에서 조건을 생각을 하거든요. 본인의 자발적인 선택에 의해서 의지에 의해서 1인 가구를 선택하는 경우도 있고 혹은 본인의 의지와는 상관없이 어, 경제적인 상황이나 취업의 문제나 주거의 문제나 이런 문제로 인해서 비자발적인 1인 가구로 생활하는 그 그룹도 상당하지요. 비자발적인 1인 가구에 대해서는 이들이 결혼으로 진입할 수 있도록 취업의 문제나 주거의 문제가 보다 사회적으로 어, 적극적으로 지원될 필요가 있습니다. As changing attitudes mean that marriage is no longer an inevitable part of life, being single by choice is becoming a new lifestyle in this changing society. In the 21st century, culture is a nation's strength. Right now, Korea is enjoying a Hallyu renaissance based on pop culture. But more and more foreign people are searching for a new Hallyu wave through Korea's traditional culture. Korean culture is full of soul, is very soulful. We meet with both Korean and foreign students who are rediscovering traditional Korean culture through fresh new perspectives at the 2016 News Humanities Nunjangpan. Late at night, five college students have gathered together. They are participants of the 2016 Youth Humanities Nunjangpan. The Youth Humanities Nunjangpan is an event in which college students of various countries get together to study Korea. <laughs> the 
This team's research theme is hanbok, the traditional Korean attire. With the first competition of the Youth Humanities Nunjangpan slated for tomorrow, they are hard at work getting prepared. 책이나 논문 아니면 뭐 다큐멘터리 같은 것들을 활용해서 직접 이제 한복에 대해서 공부도 했고 또 공부만 하면 재미가 없으니까 직접 뭐 한복 가게라든지 한복을 하는 뭐 전문가를 만나서 저희가 궁금했던 것들을 물어보고 또 직접 체험도 해보고 네, 재미를 느끼고자 열심히 노력을 했습니다. Korea is an amazing country because it's a mixture of tradition and fast globalization and technology. So my participation in this project was something that made me go back in time and at the same time stay here. So it was a time machine that helped me as a foreigner to get to know better Korean culture in Hamburg. The Youth Humanities Nunjangpan was first launched in 2014. It is an event in which students from Korea and abroad form teams and research Korea with a different theme each year. 240 students had participated by last year. For foreign students, it presents an opportunity to learn about Korea in more depth. And for Korean students, it offers a chance to see Korea from a new perspective. 굉장히 깊은 전통까지도 어, 외국 사람들이 이제 관심을 갖게 될 것이고 그게 결국은 지금 뭐 K-팝이라든지 K-푸드라든지 뭐 K-드라마를 넘어서 정말 K-컬처까지 가는 이게 어떻게 보면 저는 굉장히 좋은 바탕이 된 수순이라고 생각을 합니다. The theme for 2016 is the rediscovery of traditional Korean culture. The 27 teams taking part this year launched their research activities last April. Going beyond basic studies, they are approaching traditional Korean culture through new perspectives, employing creative new ideas and methods. The day of the poster session, the first competition of the 2016 Youth Humanities Nunjangpan has finally arrived. Even early in the morning, the venue is crowded with people. From Kugak and Kangang Sule to Suwon Hwasong Fortress and Equestrian Martial Arts, the posters fill the venue demonstrating the research topics of each team. 전통 문화를 가지고 현대에 이제 적용할 때 마상 무예 중에 기사라고 말 타고 활 쏘는 게 있어요. 그거를 스포츠 대회화 해서 요즘 현대 사회에 적용시키자 이런 주제로 하고 있습니다. 기대 반도 있고 설레 반도 있고 약간 좀 긴장이 많이 되네요. Some participants appeal to judges with song and dance. Finally, the judges begin their assessments. They ask questions about the themes and appraise the posters with their expert eyes. 기본적으로 이제 외국 학생들하고 같이 하는 거니까 외국 학생들이 얼마나 적극적으로 여기에 참여하고 열정을 가지고 있는가도 보게 되고요. 이게 작은 울림이지만 예, 굉장히 큰 도움이 될것 같아요. 외국 학생들이 이 경험을 통해서 어쨌든 간에 우리 한국 문화에 대한 발신자 노릇을 할 것이다. 아, 그렇게 생각합니다. The poster session is followed by lectures given by respected figures in the cultural field. The lectures share their experiences of reinterpreting traditional culture through their own artistic activities. <laughs> What do the participants think? What have they learned?
이제는 제 마음은 어떠냐면 뭔가 제가 즐기는 한국 전통 문화를 다른 외국인들 그리고 다른 한국인들한테 알릴 수 있는 기회가 생, 생기는 것 같아요. 저희도 한국인이지만 이 조사를 하면서 저희가 몰랐던 전통 문화와 그런 재발견에 대해서 다시 한번 탐구해 볼수 있었고요. 아 이게 세계화라는 게 어떤 것이고 대중화라는 게 어떤 것이고 국악이 어떻게 하면 미래로 나갈 수 있을까 저희 주제인 국악이 어떻게 하면 나갈 수 있을까 이런 것들을 고민해 본 시간이었던 것 같습니다. The 2016 Youth Humanities Nunjangpan will end with an open presentation contest in July. We look forward to that competition where participants from across the globe will focus a new spotlight on traditional Korean culture.